we're gonna find something new. Let's try this. Let's We're going to find something different. I am going to find something that is just a little bit more. Perhaps, let's see what this sounds like. That's not it. This is what I need today. I'm going to make sure I have my microphone in front of me so you can hear me. I'm going to grab my amethyst crystal so I have that with me and um, I'm just going to go ahead and begin. Okay. So I am Adrian, also known as Capricorn Tigress of astrologyalookinside.com. I'm an astrologer, I'm a, a tarot reader, and um, I'm also a certified spiritual healer. And um, I decided that I would uh, grab my jade here <laughs> and some amethyst here and bring in some spiritual healing because after seeing and hearing what I saw and heard over the last 48 hours, I believe a deep spiritual detox is needed. I believe that those who follow Donald Trump are under some type of I don't want to say brain control but definitely mind altering mindset that they're seeing things from a viewpoint that's askew now, they might look at someone like me and go, oh, but you're askew. But see, I'm with the moral majority. I'm with the majority of people who see what I also see. I'm not alone in what I see. There are some of you who saw or have, or still see what you see. But increasingly, every day, more and more people are waking up and realizing that they followed a false god. So the question remains, how long do you continue to follow a false God once you realize the God is false? That's what we're going to kind of go over today <laughs> because there has to be a point, I would think, when your eyes open and you see what's really happening. Um, I mean, some people don't want their eyes to open. They don't want to see what's happening, right? That's, that's the thing. It's painful. It's a 
it's an awareness that I think some are blindly uh, protecting themselves from the truth. They don't want to know the truth. Um, they get angry if you try to share the truth that so many, including the prosecutor, see. I told my story about why I believe he's guilty. I, I think the man's always been guilty. I've never believed in him. I I believe in the person I was told he was back in the early 80s. He's never not been that person. But for those who, per, it's like you bought a, whatever I guess the presidential storyline was and um, to get him in there and you've held on to that and even in the face that it was a lie. Now I made a video yesterday that talked about how Geminis are the known liars of the Zodiac. That's what they're known for is lies and um, You know, I, I don't know if um, how much you guys even accepted that because once you're brainwashed, it's, you know, if you see everyone as the enemy or that everyone's wrong, I mean, reality is, is all part of our perception, right? What's right, what's wrong, you know, good and bad, it's all part of perception. And if your perception is askew, so we're gonna deal with that. I'm going to try to do something in a moment that I may or may not be able to do. Hold on, I'm going to edit my avatar so I can add a new avatar here. Um, so when I do what I'm about to do, you don't have to look at my face because I, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just thinking you don't want to want to have to look at my face. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong and maybe you do want to look at my face, but I'm assuming <laughs> that you'll enjoy looking at my avatar much better. So let me put that on while I do this and much prayer to all of you um, who you know, who have um, experienced whatever you experienced and please bear with my voice I'm going to go get some tea in a moment and uh, and then I'll return with um, with this but um, it can't be easy and so my heart's out to all of you, no matter how you believe. There it is. I was like, what's going on? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, you guys don't want to sit up here and look at me with my red hair. When I can use one of my beautiful avatars instead. It's a lot easier on the eye. And um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm 60. I wanted to look at that. I'm just saying. Now, I could be wrong and you might enjoy looking at me. And if you do, God bless you. But for this, I really want something where you're not distracted and where you can just hear 
the words that I have to say without, you know, critiquing me and my background and all those other things. That's more important now than anything else. So one second, you guys, because I do have to go and get some tea and I will return in one second and do this healing. Hello, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. I truly appreciate that. So we're going to begin now with this special message that I have for those who are listening. And this is a special message that is for cleansing and healing. And The first thing I wanted to address is that we are um, going to do the heart of creation. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm, I'm just going to check, if I can, just one moment, I may be able to present you with the heart of creation. Let me just see if I still have it here. One moment. And if I do, I will share it post haste. Um, if I don't, I'll see if I can add it here for you. And, uh, Let's just see if I got that. Hold on. One second. I thought I had downloaded it, but uh, we'll see. If so, it would be better to have you guys listen. 
listen to her than me. But I, I can't say for sure I haven't. I'm looking now, you guys. Just one moment. I may not have it here to share. I thought I did, but um, I don't see it. I um, I think I can. I I know I have access to it, but whether or not you, I can show you what. Give me a second, you guys. I know exactly where, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> this, see, this is so convoluted. In my mind, it was easy, but as I'm doing it, I realize, oh wow, I am. Um, There's certain things I may have overlooked, and um, that's one of the things which was the heart of creation which I know I have it but where it is and how to find it <laughs> after all this time I mean it could pages if not ages deep in um, so many things that I do so that's why okay let me go over here and see if I find it just going to look up and put heart of creation. You know, it's funny. I know I've Okay, it's trying to find it, and he, I think this is it. This may not be it, but it's... It's the one I made, I think. Let me see if I can get it to play. But it's not just it. It is something altogether different. Okay, so I that's not gonna work. And you guys, I'm actually recording, so the saddest part of all of this is that it's all just happening after the fact that I after I started recording. So, you know, I'm so uh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. But um I don't know if it was supposed to happen that way. And so I'm just dealing with that reality. Oh. And my voice is out, which is why I wanted to avoid having to go through it. But um, I don't think I have a choice here. There's just, it's so convoluted. I can't seem to find it right now anywhere. So now I'm gonna have to open up a whole different browser And, um, and I'll read it to you, but, um, it's, it's not opening very quickly. You know, this is, this is so, uh, strange. So I am, um, having some issues, uh, getting to this. Okay, here we are. Um, this is just frustrating. Yeah. 
you ever get the the vibe like you're not supposed to do anything like <laughs> like i'm thinking maybe i'm not supposed to and uh so that's that's what's going on here give me a second i'm gonna sip some tea Okay, so I found it, and you guys, I feel bad that it's, you know, it's happening the way it's happening. I had this idea, but this is what happens. I'm 20 minutes in, and and this is what happened. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started, and um, I'll just have to uh, do my edits later. So... This is Adrian Capricorn Tigress of Astrology, a look inside. And we're about to do a special healing. This healing is for everyone, but specifically for those who are or have been Trump supporters and maybe feeling themselves disillusioned or confused as of today. So we're going to go into the pathway to the heart of creation before we discuss anything and this is a, a, a brief meditation to help you get into the right place to be able to receive the words that I have to share with you right now. We're going to do an oath and vow, a contract removal. Uh, those are for those who feel that they are in a bond, a uh, vow, a contract with uh, DJT. One of the things that I picked up is that he often says, what occurs to him occurs to you. If they take him down, they take you down. If he's harmed, then you're harmed. If something affects him, then it affects you the same. And this is not true. You are not him. You are not an extension of him. He is an individual who has to take on the brunt of his own um, justice on his own. That is not your responsibility. You're not connected in that way. We are all individuals in an individual world and you cannot hold or take on the whatever it is he has blinded you or brainwashed you into believing that you must take on. So we're going to remove that today. If you're willing and courageous enough to get that removed from you, then that's what we'll do. Because it's not your responsibility. You were not in those dark rooms when he was making, you know, those underhanded deals or whatever it was. That is not your responsibility. He's a grown man who has to take his responsibility just like all of us do when we make a mistake, or if we harm other people, or if we put other lives in jeopardy. It's the way it works in this world. So let's first clear whatever might be on your mind, on your hearts, what might be bothering you first. Let's get you to a good place internally. So take a deep breath. Close your eyes, centering yourself in your heart, taking a moment to call back all of your awareness, all parts and aspects of you, bringing your awareness fully into this noun moment. Begin to breathe slowly and deeply in and out of your heart, imagining that you can breathe from your heart, breathing in for a count of five, four, three, two, one, exhaling for a count of five, four, three, two, one. 
Now bring your awareness to the light that surrounds you. This is a beautiful pink light, the light of compassion. Breathing this light in, allowing these particles of light to begin to merge into your body, filling your heart and filling every cell and molecule of your body gathering this energy into the center of your heart, expanding your heart and forming a beautiful ball of light. From this ball of light in the center of your heart, send down a grounding cord. Send this cord down from your heart, down your legs, out your feet, into the earth star chakra, about 12 inches below your feet, into the earth, going through all the layers of the earth until you come to the crystalline core of Gaia, where you will see, feel, or imagine a warm golden light. This is the heart chakra of Gaia. Connect your grounding cord into the heart of Gaia, filling the heart-to-heart -heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia, and begin to draw the unconditional love and support the golden light back up your cord into your earth star chakra, into your feet, up your legs, into your root chakra, your sacral, navel, solar plexus, into your heart, seeing and feeling your heart expand. Send a beam of light up from your heart, pulling that golden light up from your high heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, up into your soul star chakra, about 12 inches above your head, sending your beam of light up, 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 connecting in with your higher self, calling forward your I am presence, your divine creator self, connecting this beam of light from your heart into your heart of your higher self. Feel the heart-to-heart -heart connection between your heart and the heart of your higher self. Send your beam of light up, 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 all the way up, past the universe, past the multiverse, out as far as it can travel, until it reaches the beautiful iridescent light of the heart of creation. This is the energy of all that is. This is pure creation energy. This is where all potential and all possibility exists. Connect your beam of light into the heart of creation. Anchor it in there and allow yourself to soak in that pure energy of all that is. Feeling the heart to heart connection between your heart and the heart of creator. Begin to draw that iridescent light down your beam of light into your soul star, into your crown chakra, into your third eye, your throat, your high heart, your heart, seeing your heart expand, allowing this beautiful iridescent light to flow into your heart, merging with the golden light from Gaia and a pink light of compassion creating a beautiful iridescent rose gold light. Allow this light to fill every cell of your body, expanding this light out beyond your physical body, going out 12 feet in all directions, forming a beautiful ball of iridescent rose gold light that you are in the center of. Take a moment here to feel how loved, nurtured, safe, and protected you are in this space. Breathe in this iridescent rose gold light into your heart with every breath, feeling the heart-to-heart -heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia, and your heart and the heart of Creator, and your heart and the heart of of your higher self. Now take a deep breath. 
and center yourself in the most sacred space of your heart. So we're going to anchor it all in to the heart and the higher heart, into the mind and the higher mind, into every cell of the body, into the DNA, into the subtle bodies, into the earth star chakra, into the heart chakra of Gaia, into the soul grid, and into the 12th dimensional grid system. So let's talk about what we're going to discuss today, which is we're going to talk about some alignments that will help you to remove some oaths, vows, contracts, things that are no longer um, useful in, in, your, in your life, okay? So, we are going to um, release some of these oaths and vows, contracts and obligations, allowing the full power of your own gifts and skills to flow with grace. And that is the essence of becoming evolved. But, you know, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. So this alignment reminds you who you actually are. You're sparks of God. And this will bring in the knowledge of your true self at this level and allow you to embody the human expression of the divine. So I wanted to share that also religious oppression rigid rigid and severe or punishing religious principles can block us from awakening to the truth of who we truly are overly strict religious beliefs or rules and regulations can cause massive shock and trauma within causing us to dim our light to live in fear and to hold back from rising up to embrace our infinite selves and to live our soul purpose. So this alignment will clear out the DNA and um, it will clear out the shock and tra trauma of religious oppression or political oppression through lifetimes and timelines within our DNA and through the collective, including shock and trauma held in our cells and cellular memory. And this alignment also clears oaths and vows and contracts and agreements knowingly and unknowingly made with religious groups or political groups and organizations. Also, there's a wide awake, wide awake. Spiritual awakening can be physically and emotionally challenging, often bringing up deeply embedded, hidden hurts and pains to be cleansed and released. This is often known as a healing crisis and many healers and those who are being healed resist moving into the next step on their soul path for fear of experiencing a difficult or painful healing crisis. So this alignment will bring in high level energetic support to strengthen and expand the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual bodies to allow graceful and painless spiritual awakening Wide Awake also brings in uh, the special light codes to support the structural changes that happen in the physical body during transformational spiritual upgrades. With this alignment, people who experience headaches, flu, cold symptoms, or who go through emotional overwhelm and exhaustion will find that they no longer experience these symptoms when processing exceptionally strong feelings because that's what we're dealing with exceptionally strong feelings 
So, um, some of the other things I wanted to uh, go over here. Um, one moment. If we can... Claiming your voice. Because I feel like some people have lost their voice. You're listening or following someone us, else's voice. But it's time to claim your own voice. So your voice is a beautiful energetic bridge of self-expression. It connects you to the outside world and it allows others to know and understand you. It works like a magical channel that lets you claim your rightful place as you move through life. And this alignment will work magic on your throat chakra. It will clear the traumas, emotions, and beliefs that have accumulated there, causing you to lose your voice in any area of your life or work. The alignment will activate your throat chakra so you can speak up and stand up for yourself and what you believe in a way that supports your highest good. Next, there's clarity. Clarity is power in the pure sense. It gives you the courage to make decisions and take action for the highest and best good of all in any situation. Clarity is also the beautiful bright lens through which we can find purpose and meaning in our life and work. When we're not clear about who we are, what we desire, or what we're meant to do in the world, life becomes dark, foreboding, and extremely difficult. Clarity is the foremost element that will help you manifest a life of beauty, abundance, tranquility, and deep service. This alignment will bring in crystal clear clarity around experiences, people, or circumstances, including clarity on your own wants and needs. Focus on the situation you are desiring clarity on while receiving this alignment for rapid results. Next, I want to do um, cleanse and protect. Healing involves, excuse me, healing involves working with lim liminal energetic boundaries such as timelines and dimensions. This sometimes creates unwanted connections with entities and attachments, negative energies and hooks and cords. While healing yourself and others is undoubtedly beautiful and important work, healers and those who seek healing must take conscious intentional steps to create a safe place, a safe space, and protect their energy to avoid needless challenges and struggles. This alignment will completely and effectively clear your own and anyone else's energy. It is the most powerful way to clear entities and attachments, negative energies and hooks and cords from the energy body. This alignment also moves interdimensional portals away from the individual's home, land, or personal energetic space while resolving oaths, vows, and contracts that allow negative energies, beliefs, and emotions to flow through. This alignment automatically places a shield around each individual who receives it, their home going a mile deep underground, members of their household, including pets, their workplaces and vehicles, this shield includes an energetic vacuum at the top, so any negative negative energies that come close can be set, sent into God's light. Also, collapsing timelines. Linear time or clock time, as we know, it is an invention of the human mind and it does not exist in the spiritual plane this means timelines are sporadic concurrent and they run for all eternity there are positives and negatives to this the positive side is that we are forever able to tap into the energy and essence of our accomplishments and expansions at any time 
The negative is that in a sense, traumas that happened in our past or even in other timelines can continue for all time. And I just want to say, there are some people who believe that the fascists of today and those who are uh, racist of today are actually the reincarnation of their ancestors. And so they're reliving out that timeline. This alignment will collapse timelines that are not serving our highest and best good, bringing in the lessons and gifts from those timelines and washing clean the trauma, pain, and negatives in God's light. It will also align you with your highest possible, best possible timeline. I also would like to do confusion and overwhelm because I feel that many are in a state of confusion and overwhelm. We live in a fast paced, frantic world where we are endlessly bombarded with constant noise. It feels like everything and everyone wants our time and attention. And it often feels like all of our senses are assaulted throughout the day. This is especially disturbing and disruptive for empaths, psychics, healers, or other conscious souls who are sen sensitive to the energetic shifts caused by this never ending fight for our attention. So this alignment will lift, clear, and delete that energetic noise that has attached to us clearing the confusion and overwhelm that we feel. It aligns us to the beautiful calming vibrations of stillness, quiet, peace, confidence, and clarity. And I also would like to do giving away your power and activating your power because I personally feel that this is a case of many people giving away their power, perhaps to someone who was not ever deserving of that. So we give away our power for many different reasons, often without conscious awareness. This creates all sorts of complications and blocks in our energy system, which then manifests as issues such as resentment toward others, guilt about owning our worth, or claiming our desires and feelings of resistance and deep discomfort around power itself. We start to feel power is bad and wrong and then causes us to continue giving away the true power that is our birthright. This alignment will resolve oaths, vows, contracts we have made or given away to give away our power for any reason. Unworthiness beliefs that are causing us to give our power away and guilt and resentment related to all of this. It also brings in and activates our true power and the ability to be safe in our power, to own our power and to use it in the highest and best way. I also like to say um, you seeing with your third eye. There was a time when we all had the incredible ability to see with our third eye. We were able to tap into the world of dreams, into consciousness that was beyond our own and to receive and interpret messages and important guidance from beings of light through visions. This ability has diminished, but it has not disappeared. Reactivating third eyesight will give us the vision we need to our own psychic abilities and to use it to heal and to help and to be of service. So this alignment will activate your pineal gland and pituitary gland, allowing you to be able to see clearly with your third eye. This alignment also resolves oaths, vows, and contracts to limit or suppress your psychic sight 
and clears traumas around having been punished or killed for using this magical ability. You will also heal any trauma you may have from witnessing disturbing things with your psychic eyes from this lifetime and all other lifetimes and timelines. So, in divine love and light, run a sacred light belief healing, create or change it. I'm also going to do this oath, vow, and contract healing because I want to help you remove this, okay? Some of you believe that you have oaths and vows and contracts to suffer or sacrifice in order to heal or be healed. Oath, vows, and contracts to suffer to receive your gifts and abilities. Oath, vows, and contracts to not receive or uh, uh, compensation in any form for using your gifts or abilities or for healing or being healed. Oh, thousand contracts to take on pain, sickness, suffering, entities, or any other negative energies from any other people in order to heal them. Oh, thousand contracts to heal as a shaman by taking these on or into yourself, releasing those oh, thousand contracts to hide and limit your gifts, abilities, or your connection to creator, guides, or angels in order to protect yourself punish yourself or others for any other reason. O oh, thousand contracts uh, to communicate with God, creator, angels, guides, or any being 100% pure light. O oh, thousand contracts not to heal or to suffer or to, in order to identify with the world or your clients in order to be trusted or effective healer. O oh, thousand contracts um, to have or to be perfect before you can do work or receive your gifts or have a connection to God or angels or guides. O fouls or contracts to create pain, sickness, drama, or problems. O for vows or contracts to learn or to grow through suffering. O fouls or contracts of suffering. O fouls or contracts to shut down your ability abilities. O vows or contracts to be in service and forsake all and to take up the cross or to be married to God and no other or to experience the pain and suffering of others. O vows and contracts to, to hold pain and suffering and struggle for family and loved ones uh, or the collective. So in divine love and light, run the sacred light O vow and contract healing. Creator, change it. So this, I pray, has been helpful in some way to all who have heard it, all who will hear it, and all who may be healed by it. It has been my honor to share this special sacred alignment foul and contract removal with you I hope that you all received it I hope that you all are cleared and cleaned by it may your eyes open may you be able to think and feel and live for you not for any other but for you and those you love like your children and family Put no one before your God. Put no one before your children and family. Much love to you and many blessings. From Capricorn Tigris of Astrology, a look inside.com.